Okay, so welcome back to this video in which we are trying to prove that A closure, uh, which is defined to be A union, the set containing all the limit points of A, uh, is a closed set. Is a closed set. So firstly, uh, I said that the way we were going to prove this was to prove that it must that A closure contains all of its limit points. Now. Uh, uh, the first thing I started by proving was that we only need to consider uh, that uh, the limit points of L basically because uh, if if um, if y is a limit point of a is a limit point of a of a uh, then uh, y will be an element of L and therefore y will be an element of a closure so we only need to consider uh, elements y of the uh, bigger metric space x, which are limit points, y is a limit point for L. So we need to make sure that these limit points of the set L are also in A bar. So to make sure that they're in A bar, what we need to prove is, um, we need really to prove that they are either in A or L. Uh, so uh, we need to prove uh, that they are a limit point for A, because if they are a limit point for A, uh, then they will be in the set L, and therefore they will be in the set A closure. So what we want to prove is that if Y is a limit point of L, then Y is a limit point of A, of A, and therefore Y is an element of L, which implies that Y is an element of A closure. Okay, and that will um, that will then prove that any limit point of elements in the set uh, is a, is a in is actually in that set, which will prove that it's closed. Okay, uh, so uh, what we want to prove to prove we want to prove that y is a limit point of A. So we want to prove that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists. This is what we are required to prove to show. Uh, okay, that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists an A which is an element of A. Uh, a little a, which is an element of big A, such that uh, little a is an element of the ball uh, centered around uh, y of uh, radius epsilon. Okay, uh, so since uh, y is a limit point for L, for L, there exists uh, there exists a little l, which is an element of big L such that a little l is an element of the ball around y of radius epsilon by 2. Now, since little l is an element of L, uh, little l is our limit point limit point uh, for the set A, for A, which implies that uh, there exists a little a, which is an element of big A, such that little a is an element of the ball around little l of size epsilon over 2. So this is the intuition of what we're doing here. If I draw a picture, we have uh, we have our metric space uh, big X here. We have this point Y. And what I'm saying is that I want to show, I want to show that, uh, let's say, go out to here. I want to show that uh, if I take this epsilon ball, and I know I've drawn it out of the um, out of the metric space, but never mind. If I take an, a ball of size epsilon around here, I can find you some point little a within there. And the way I'm going to prove that is I'm going to say take an epsilon by two ball, and I can find you a point little l inside there. Okay, uh, because I know that y is a limit point of uh, I know y is a limit point of the set l. Uh, so I can find you some little l inside there, but I know that little l is now a limit point uh, for a limit point for uh, for a. Uh, so um, so what I can do is I can take a ball of epsilon size epsilon over two uh, around there and find some little a inside that. And basically, what I'm going to do is show that that little a has to therefore be in this ball of size epsilon around y. And the way I'm going to do that is through the triangle inequality. Okay, so now um, I want to show a is an element of the ball around y of size epsilon. All I need to show is that the distance between y and a is less than epsilon. But the distance between y and a is less than or equal to, by the triangle inequality, it's less than or equal to, let me get my blue pens, uh, so it's less than or equal to the distance between y and l, which is this distance here, so that distance there, plus 
the distance between L and A, uh, which is uh, this distance here. So I'll get this pen here. Okay? And the distance between Y and L, uh, we know, uh, if I just move this up, we know that the distance between Y and L is less than epsilon over 2 since uh, Y, sorry, since L uh, is an element of the ball, uh, the open ball around the point Y of size epsilon over 2. So that implies that the distance between them is less than epsilon over 2. Similarly, we know that the distance between L and A is less than epsilon over 2 uh, since A is an element of the ball around L of size epsilon over 2. So that implies that its distance is less than epsilon over 2. So that implies that the distance between Y and L plus the distance between L and A is less than epsilon. So, uh, by transitivity then, uh, if this is less than this and this is less than this, it implies that this is less than epsilon. So we now know that the distance between Y and A is less than epsilon. So, that implies that A is an element of the ball, the open ball around Y of size epsilon. So whatever epsilon you give me, I can find you an, ele uh, an element of A, uh, an, an, an element a little a of big A which is within that ball which implies Y is our limit point of A of A so that implies that Y was an element of L because L was the set of all limit points of big A uh, which implies that when I take A union big L which is what we define to be A, uh, a closure then Y is an element of A closure. So any limit point of the set A closure is itself contained within A closure, which is the uh, which we proved uh, implies that uh, A closure is closed.